So that's a pretty popular effect right now, but check this out. Pretty wild, right? But you already know I had to test these new AI tools and effects to the limit, so let's turn it up. Well, aren't you just full of tricks? <laughs> Please do come again. Are you coming? We have to start this YouTube video. Okay, so the question is, were you able to spot all of the different tools and effects that were used in that intro? If not, you will by the end of this video. Yeah, so there's been a lot of really cool new tools and updates. Obviously, I was testing a lot of this stuff for this intro, starting with this really popular kind of Google Earth zoom effect. Let's take a look. So this effect can be found here in Higgsfield AI, which for those that don't know, Higgsfield basically specializes in all kinds of AI VFX and transitions and all kinds of cool stuff like that. As we can see right here at the top, we have the Earth zoom out. So I'll go ahead and click that, which by the way, all of the tools that I'm going to be talking about today can be found down down in the description below so you can easily access any of the tools that I'll be showing on today's video. So here inside of the zoom effect, I'm just going to click this little generate button. And then here I just generated this image of myself with this kind of like selfie POV. Now the way that I get all of my images is using this tool of BidBuzz.io. This is basically what I use to generate all of my images and my prompts. So for example, if I just hit this restart button here, I can just put a man wearing a cowboy hat and this little button is going to enhance the prompt to make it better. And so now if I switch this to character mode, I can go ahead and choose my character, which in this case is myself. So now I'm set as the character and I can just go ahead and generate the image. And just like that, we now have an image of me as a cowboy. Now, the other cool thing here is that if I click this little check mark, it's going to set that as the active image. And now what I can do is come over here to consistency mode. And this allows me to create this image from multiple perspectives. And so if I were to come right here and click side profile, now it's going to spit out a image of this from the side perspective. Okay, so now we can see here's a version from a side profile. Or if I were to click selfie, for example, now we have a selfie version here now, of course, I could crop this image so it's not showing the hand here, but you get the idea. Long story short, that is how I generated this image right here. And so from there, all you have to do is bring the image right here into Higgs field. A lot of times I'll just leave the prompt blank, turn enhance on and click generate. So I created a handful of different versions here until I ultimately got the one that I wanted. So like this one, for example, it just really wasn't zooming out far enough to show the entire world. So you might have to specify more details to get the exact effect that you want. And then from there, you simply put the clip in reverse so that it's starting from space and zooming into the character. And after you do that, you end up with something like this. Next up, one of the trendiest VFX right now is creating JSON prompts for VO3. Let's take a look. I've just spent the last 48 hours playing with this new method of AI video called JSON prompting, and it's creating these adverts in a matter of minutes. So I'm going to show you how you can use this to create some of the most insane AI videos that you've ever seen. And the best part is you can do this too for your brand or business. So here's how to do it. To get started, you want to go to ChatGPT. You can ask it to write you a JSON prompt. Then you can write in what you want to happen next in your video, and then it will give you this super long detailed block of code. And inside here, you can see it gives you details of camera, movement, framing, lighting, sound effects that you can tweak. You can then go to Google Flow and paste this into the prompt bar using Google VO3. Make sure you click on here and use the fast version for the cheaper credits. Now, once you have that selected, you'll get your advert ready for TV in a matter of minutes. So coming into VO3 right here, I tested a few versions using JSON prompting and just a few versions with normal prompting. And so like these two, for example, this was the JSON on prompt that I used for this one. So let's take a look here. So this one starts out pretty good and then it gets to this weird little transition right there 
and kind of just transforms to a completely different scene. Moving on to the next one, this one kind of had the same issue where it starts off pretty good, but then it kind of just transforms to a completely new scene. So in the end, I ended up going with this one right here, which was actually not a JSON prompt. It was just a normal sort of prompting structure. And in my opinion, this one actually ended up coming out the best. But here's how I'm able to get the best outputs with my prompts. If I come here into the Creator Secrets community on school, I'm going to open up the classroom, click on start here. And then just coming down here to the resources section. And these are basically custom GPTs for all of the best video models. So I'm going to click this one right here for VO3. And now all I have to do is click start. So in this case, this was the starting image right here in this parking area. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag that image and submit that. Okay, so now it's asking me what type of camera motion that I want. And in this case, I'm going to just type in hand held. And now it's asking what type of action should take place. Now it's giving me a few suggestions here, but I can type in anything that I want. Okay, so I'm saying the parked cars begin to disassemble. The parts float into the middle of the parking area and reassemble as a futuristic spaceship. Now, at this point, it's asking me, what do I want my characters to say? But in this case, there is no dialogue. So I'm just going to write an A. And so now, basically, what it's going to do is take all of this information. It's looking at the image. It's taking the camera motion into consideration and the action that I want to happen. And it's going to formulate this into a perfect VO3 prompt. OK, so here is my VO3 prompt. So here in VO3, let's go ahead and try the JSON prompt first and see what happens. And while we're waiting for that, I'll go ahead and paste in the basic text prompt right here. And now I'll do one more of a more detailed version of the text prompt to see if VO3 likes detail or if it prefers the prompt to be basic. OK, so after waiting for that, these ones down here are the JSON versions. Let's take a look. OK, and the next one. So those are pretty cool, but we're still getting those kind of weird random cuts throughout the clip, which makes it unusable. So moving on, this is the prompt from the Creator Secrets GPT. Let's take a look. OK, not bad. And the next one. Okay, cool. So I think so far I'm liking this one right here the best. But now moving on, these ones up here are the prompt that has a lot more detail. Let's take a look. Okay, and the second one. OK, so these were probably the worst, in my opinion. They just have those, again, random cuts throughout the clip. So out of this batch right here, I think I would definitely go with this one, which, again, is just a normal text prompt. Now, to be fair, I'm sure I could get much better results if I actually spent a lot of time perfecting these JSON prompts. But as of right now, I'm not really noticing any significant difference between the JSON prompts or the text prompts. Next up, everyone's talking about Runway right now with its new feature called Aleph. Let's take a look. We're looking at one of the biggest updates to AI video generation because this new tool lets you take any video and completely reimagine it. Meet Aleph from Runway. It's like having a full production team all inside one AI. This means you can take a video and have the AI generate any camera angle that you can think of or even completely relight a scene in any way that you want. But to be honest, that's not even the most impressive part because you can also completely transform the video in basically any way possible, which means you can do some really incredible things like change the season from summer to winter or completely switch the environment from a city to a desert and you don't have to stop there you can recolor parts of a scene swap out objects for others and even remove things entirely from the video effects like this used to take cameras crews studios and million dollar budgets but now all it takes is a laptop an internet connection and an idea so this feature is pretty straightforward like it says you pretty much just tell it exactly how you want the clip to be modified so if we're looking at my little intro I took this clip here so that's a pretty popular effect right now but right and I just said add a blizzard and then this was the output 
So it definitely went a little bit too intense with that one, but obviously you can just continue to play around with it. And of course the beautiful thing about Runway is that you have an unlimited plan, so you can just continue to make generations until you get the exact version that you want. So this one, for example, I was a little bit more detailed and said, add a blizzard. The man is wearing a fur coat made of bear hide. He has a big fur hood draped over his head. It's a Viking style warrior outfit, right? And then I ended up with this clip right here. Now the feature also claims to be able to change the perspective of a video clip. So I took this video clip right here and I said, a shot from behind the couple is at a hotel valet. And this is what I ended up with right here, which I wanted them to be walking out of the building, not towards the building. So I tried this a few more times and every time I just ended up with stuff that was a little bit wonky. I think it's actually much easier to start with an image if you're trying to get a different perspective and sort of edit or modify the image however you want it to be before you try to generate the video. So if you're skipping the image step and you're just trying to create multiple perspectives going directly to the video stage, in my opinion, makes it much more difficult and you don't really get what you're going for. Now, I also use this for this scene right here where it's sort of this drone shot over the ocean and ended up with a bunch of cool different versions here. But then I ended up just going with this clip Clip right here which ultimately transitions into the pirate boat uh, scene but overall if you consider runway's new updates with act 2 in addition to this new Aleph feature I think there are a ton of really awesome use cases for this so the next one is a Photoshop update check this out this might be one of the craziest Photoshop updates we've had in a long time because you can now upload a photo on top of another and it will automatically match the shadows and lighting into the scene for you meaning you can now use that image in an AI video generator to create some insane results you can also use this on graphical posts too. So here's how you can get the same results for any image you like. So I actually use this on this scene right here. And as you can see here, this is a separate layer of me that was brought into this image afterwards. So the way that this is done, coming into VidBuzz, I'm gonna pop open the media library where I have all of these different images. I'll go ahead and select this one right here. And then I can just click this button to generate a prompt based on that image. So now we can see it's automatically generated this prompt based on the image. So now I'll come to character mode and now I can go ahead and choose myself, Kira, and then click generate. Okay, so now I have a few different versions of myself as this princess with the owl on my shoulder. I'll go ahead and download this one. And now all I have to do is bring this image into Photoshop, click remove background. From here, I'll just go ahead and drag the layer behind Scotty's character like that. And we'll size it up, maybe something like this. But as we can see, there's now this feature called Harmonize. So when I click that, it's going to basically just blend my character into this scene a little better. And after doing that, it just looks a little bit more natural. And so that's basically it. Pretty simple. Which, by the way, if you have more nuanced questions about any of this stuff, Scotty offers live Q&A calls in the Creator Secrets community on School. He shows everything from creating AI influencers like myself to content automation and professional monetization so you can maximize your earnings. He also covers the best AI niche categories and the best tools to create anything you can imagine along with all the prompt resources and workloads for professional AI filmmaking. The link for this will be down in the description below. So now that you have a basic idea, let's bring it all together so that you can see everything that was used in this video. So that's a pretty popular effect right now, but check this out. Pretty wild, right? But you already know I had to test these new AI tools and effects to the limit, so Let's turn it up. Well, aren't you just full of tricks? <laughs> Please do come again. waiting.